constructing cumulative frequency tables when given a grouped frequency table. Uh, here you'll see an example where I have 49 randomly selected bank customers and their wait times on uh, how long it took for them to process their transactions. This is an example from our uh, lecture notes and uh, I'm sure you've seen how I've constructed the uh, frequency table and where it comes from. But here the, the issue is given a frequency table, how do you construct the cumulative frequency table? Well, <clears throat> here's how it works out. Well, cumulative frequencies, as you all heard in the lecture, is a frequency table where the classes will always have to start from the beginning. And beginning here happens to be zero. Sorry, I'm too thick on that one. Beginning here happens to be zero. So let me just erase that. There you go. So beginning number here happens to be zero. So therefore, every class must start from zero. So let's look at how the classes will arrange themselves. So it'll be zero to 10. And then the next one will be not 10 to 20, but will be zero to 20. So every class will go back to the beginning. So zero to 20, the next one will be zero to 30, zero to 40, zero to 50, and zero to 60. And then for the cumulative frequencies, we'll the first frequency is 9 to begin with. The next frequency will be, well, it's from 0 to 20, which means it's this frequency and this frequency. So the next one will be 29. And then the next one, which is 0 to 30, again, if I change colors, it basically means this frequency, this frequency, and this frequency, because it says 0 to 30. So it's the sum of the first three frequencies. So changing back to Gila to write the sum, and that will be 47. So 9 plus 20 plus 18. Then, and that's how it proceeds. And the next one is 0 to 40. So again, if I change colors, 0 to 40 will be the sum of this number, this number, this number, and this number. But since 0 doesn't contribute anything to the sum, it stays the same. So it's just 47. And then 0 to 50, same thing. For 0 to 50, again, I'm going to change colors. Uh, let's go to, I don't know, blue. So 0 to 50, again, we'll go back to the beginning and it'll be the sum of this number, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Uh, changing back to our uh, frequency, cumulative frequency table color. So that'll be just uh, 48. And then the last one, which is 0 to 60, is again the sum of all the numbers. I'm not going to change colors anymore, so it's just the sum of all numbers plus one more. So the last one will be just 49. And that is your frequency, cumulative frequency table. So if you're asked to construct the cumulative frequency, this is exactly how you're supposed to draw it. Thank you.